Good morning. It is a chilly Colorado morning here. You know what's not chilly? Our rig. Thanks to the skirting that Brooke and I installed, uh, the last three weeks have been uh, considerably better. You can tell a major difference in the floor when you're walking across the floor with your bare feet. It's not near as cold. And we can notice that the heater's not kicking on as much. So, welcome to our short little video on skirting your RV. We did this on the cheap for about $800. We got it all measured out here. These are our measurements. So for around the bottom part of the camper, not include the fifth wheel overhang, these were my measurements. 811 inches comes to about 67 and a half feet. And that I want to be about 48 inches tall, so I have enough to tuck under, um, put some weights on it. And then for the fifth wheel overhang, it came to about 22.83 feet and I need that to be between 64 and 72 inches tall in order to be able to tuck some under um, and put some weights on it. So now that we have our measurements we're gonna go online see what we can find um, for material. We've seen some kits. The kits kind of seem to be about the same price as what the lady quoted us to do it. So I'm hoping I can just buy the material in bulk um, from a vinyl supplier rather than looking for a specific RV skirting and do it cheap. So I went to the web to source all the products that we needed. I found the vinyl at a company called Big Duck Canvas. I ordered more than enough and it comes on one roll and is one continuous piece. The button snaps came from sailright.com and once again I ordered more than I needed. Now for the Velcro, the PVC clamps, the vinyl cement, and the press and snap tool, I found all of these on eBay. I will post links in the description so you can find all these products for yourself. Um, so we have everything laid out here that we're going to use to put the skirting on the trailer. We ordered the press and snap tool. Um, it's really inexpensive. <laughs> Not really. but um, So this will put the grommets on the vinyl for us. And then we have the part that goes on the vinyl. And then we also have the part that gets screwed into the trailer. That's the drill. Um, we have some heavy duty Velcro here. We're not going to do zippers, we're going to do Velcro for our accesses. We have um, the plastic pieces to clip on the bottom. We're going to do PVC so that we can weight it. So um, if we move, we don't have to redo everything. And then we'll just put, Jordan's plan is to put sand in the bottom and then clip these on the bottom so that it'll hold it nice and tight and we don't lose that heat. And then we have the glue. So this, um, the main place that we'll use this is gonna be in the front part, um, under, um, I don't know what it's called, the, the front part of the fifth wheel. Um, so we'll use that there because the vinyl didn't come long enough. So we'll glue two pieces together so that we can get it clear to the ground there. So here we go. Forgot about the vinyl. Oh. Most important part. <laughs> A giant roll of vinyl, 18 ounce industrial coated fire retardant vinyl. The first step was to install the snaps onto the camper. These are a screw in snap that are a quarter inch long. We placed them between 8 and 10 inches apart, some places a little closer where we thought we may uh, need the extra holding power. So we screwed those all the way around the camper to start with. Okay, so we're gonna start with the vinyl wrap around the front here just a little bit. And then we're gonna work our way around. We're gonna follow this body line right here with our snaps. It cheats a little bit so we don't have to measure as much. Um, we're gonna start here, work our way around. This body line gives us a good height so that we can include the slides so we don't have to make any adjustments. So to make sure that our snaps are not leaking any water into the camper, we're going with this stuff. I don't remember what it's called. It's been a while since I've used it, but I'll look it up and link it in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of it and we're put it on the back of our snaps before we screw them into the camper. Oops. Just like that. And we'll screw them in and then peel off the excess, but it'll help keep water from getting inside the camper. <laughs>
So what we're gonna do when we get to the stairs here, we got our snaps coming along. We're gonna come down. I'm gonna cut this section of the vinyl out. I'm gonna put some snaps down here. So it'll be all one piece to come down, attach there, and then we'll come back full length here. And then what I'm gonna do is cut, take that section that I cut out and we're gonna snap it here. It's gonna drape behind the stairs and then we're gonna Velcro it to this other vinyl there. So this is a little bit thicker steel here. I'm gonna pre-drill the holes, put our snaps in, and we're gonna keep working our way around. And once we got the snaps in, then we're gonna come back with our vinyl and then match our vinyl up to the snaps, put the snap on the vinyl part, and be able to just go right along like that. Should be pretty easy. The next step, we unrolled the fabric and started underneath the fifth wheel overhang. We doubled the top over about two inches for a little extra holding power. We then used the press and snap tool to snap on the other part of the snap. Once this was done, we snapped our first snap onto the camper and then stretched the fabric, the vinyl, out to the next snap. Brooke would mark it with a marker and I would come along and snap it with the press and snap tool. So these are the other two parts of the snaps. We're ready to start putting them on the vinyl. This, the rounded part. Oop. Mounts up into the top there. That rubber kind of holds it in place. The bottom part sits on there like that, and then you just, when you squeeze it, it presses them together. And then what does it do? <laughs> then we're gonna put it on the camper. All right, so we gotta make sure we do it the right way. Do it the right way. <laughs> All right. Good. Yep. Yep. And then go. it will be so easy to snap it on. About 200 more to go. Um, At least. But we will have to put some. So we went ahead and we doubled this over. Um, a lot of the time when you have them come out and custom skirt your camper, they sew this part down. Um, we're not doing that. I don't have a sewing machine to sew through this vinyl. But we did want it just a little bit tougher so that for the on and off, um, it's a little more durable and we have basically the two layers to um, keep it there. So this one here, this one, we're a practice snap because I put them on, or Jordan put them on, I showed him where and it didn't quite line up. So we slid it over, luckily it was at the beginning, there's a little bit of a learning curve, hopefully we don't screw any more up. By we, I mean me.
fifth wheel overhang we had to double up our fabric width. The fabric I ordered wasn't long enough to stretch from the fifth wheel overhang all the way to the ground. So we used some vinyl cement and glued two pieces together which allowed us to have enough room to snap it up on the fifth wheel overhang, drape it down and tuck it under. So we got our one inch PVC pipe, picked that up this morning. I'm gonna cut it to length. I measured the pass through storage on the camper. Um, Cause I wanna be able to store these when they're not in use and take them with us instead of having to redo this all the time. It's not gonna add that much more weight and it'll just be convenient to have. So I'm gonna cut them to length, cap one end, fill it with sand, cap the other end. And then we're gonna put it on the skirting with the uh, clamps that I have um, to hold it to the vinyl. So we're gonna get to Cutting them out and filling them up now. Once we had the skirting snapped up all the way around the camper, I wanted to put in some access points. I put in one right here next to the slide, and then one on the fifth wheel overhang. I bought the two inch Velcro strips and adhered it to both sides of the, of the vinyl. Well, it turns out it doesn't adhere too well to the shiny side of the vinyl. So, I, so recently I've put, put some vinyl cement on there and it seems like it's really um, gonna hold. So we'll see it through the winter. I may end up going back to some snaps on those. Um, but if you had a sewing machine and can sew it on, that would, would probably work best. But we didn't have a sewing machine, uh, so I just used some vinyl cement, and it seems like it's holding up really well. And also, when, when you cut the openings for your access, I cut an extra strip off of some of the extra we had. To double over so that our seams didn't just butt up to each other because then the velcro wouldn't hold so i had to overlap them so i put a glued a piece of the vinyl to one side and then the velcro went to the other and it overlapped and it created a nice uh, seam The RV skirting is complete. Now we do a little quick walk around. You can see my white plastic clamps that are holding the PVC weights down. We are all buckled up. Hole there for the sewer. It is all buckled up. We got an access opening there. So we got a little storage underneath there. 
and another Velcro opening right here. So this really is a, a two-person job. Um, one person could do it, but it's going to take you a long time and be pretty difficult. Uh, so if you have two people, that would uh, be most beneficial. Brooke would stretch the fabric along and then mark where I needed to punch in a snap at with the present snap tool. So as you can see, it is quite chilly. But the skirting is keeping us nice and warm inside our rig. If you guys want to see more how-to videos, if you got any questions, please post a comment. Please hit that like and that subscribe button. That would mean so much to us. Uh, we're just getting started out on our channel. And we hope to be able to share some of our experiences with all of you. Hopefully help you guys save a little money too. This project saved us at least 1200 bucks, if not a little bit more. Um, it took us a day and a half to do, but part of that was trying to film it and trying to wrangle three little boys. Um, it could easily be done in a day uh, with, if you had two people. So please hit that like and that subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe oh, to see our videos. Please like and subscribe to see our videos.